Hi, I'm James from Camsys, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Snakesys B4 ArtNet node with a Magic Q console. So at the moment, I've got myself a Chauvet Professional Color Dash PAR fixture here, which is connected via DMX to the back of my console. Let's just prove I've got this working, and then we'll go on and show you how the node set up. So first off, I've connected the PAR to Universe 1, and I've addressed this PAR to Address 100. So I'm going to start a new show on my console, select Yes, and select normal live mode. I'm going to go to my patch window, choose head, find Chauvet, find my color dash par hex 12, select its mode. I've already put the light in 12 channel mode. I'm going to patch it at universe one, one of them starting at channel 100. So that's one at one minus 100, one light at universe one starting at channel 100. Enter and press yes. I've now got the fixture patched, so if I go select the group and locate, on comes my fixture. Let's clear that and switch it off. So I'm now going to move and I'm going to take my DMX cable out the back of my console and I'm going to connect it to one of the DMX outputs on my Snakesys B4. The Snakesys B4 has got four DMX output ports, which can be set to input as well on the front. And on the back, you've got a PowerCon line input, its network port, and a dedicated DMX input port. You've also got the address dials on the back here where you can set the ArtNet universe that the box is decoding, and then its mode switches on the front. Underneath the box shows you what the various different mode switches mean. So first off, I'm gonna power up my node, and you'll see the lights on the front flash as it powers up. I'm gonna connect my DMX cable from my light to port number one. Now I need to link it up to my desk. I've already pre-set up myself a network cable. This is just a regular bit of Cat5 cable plugged into a network port on the back of my console. And I've just gone into uh, one of the ports on the back. It's a three port switch. All ports have the same function. Doesn't matter what port you plug into. I'm now gonna connect my network cable to the ethernet port on my B4. And now I've got the two connected on the same network. When a B4 ships from Camsys, it ships with a 2.IP address out of the factory. So on our console, we need to make sure we have a 2.IP address as well. Set up, view settings, network, top box here, IP address, and we can set the IP address of our console. So my console is already on a 2.IP address. I could change it to something different, 2.0.0.5, for example. And we need to be on a slash eight subnet, 255.0.0.0. Now the B4 has several operating modes. It supports both ArtNet and streaming ACN. Using our mode switches on the front, I'm gonna put dip switch number four up only, and that puts the device into ArtNet mode as per the descriptions underneath the unit. On the back of my unit, my rotary encoder wheels are set to zero and zero. So that means subnet zero, universe zero. So it's gonna start decoding from subnet zero, ArtNet universe zero. And the way it assigns its ports is they run sequentially. So if I've set 0, 0, the first port is going to be ArtNet Universe 0, Universe 1, 2, and 3, running sequentially from the start that you've set on the address wheels on the back there. On my console, go to Setup, View DMX IO, and now I need to enable universes, which I've already done. So I've got four universes enabled, and they're set to OutType ArtNet and the universes, ArtNet Universes 0, 1, 2, 3. You can see I've got blue lights on by my ports on the B4, which indicates they're outputting DMX, they're receiving data from my console. If I go to universe one and disable that and universe two and disable it, you should see in a moment on the front of my B4, two of the LEDs go off to show me it's no longer receiving DMX for those universes. If I toggle back on universe two and universe one, you'll see the LEDs come back on on the box again to show it's now outputting DMX. So I should be able to go to my group window, select my PAR and locate. And I've now got my PAR connected via ArtNet to my node, outputting DMX from my node connected to my fixture. And I've proved I've got everything working correctly. Now, if you've got multiple nodes connected, you can go to your setup window, view system, view status, and you can go to ArtNet nodes here. And it will show you any connected nodes it can see on the network. So you can see here, there's my B4 and you can see the B4's IP address, 2.9.206.40. That's the IP address of my B4 out of the factory 
which you can go on to and change. If you want to change the IP address of your B4, you need to put it into what we call CamNet mode, which is all four DIP switches down. Then you can go to your setup window, view DMXIO, you can open your net manager window, you can see your B4, and here you can customize the individual ports, change the mode of a thing, and also change the IP address of your box. If you have any more questions on how to set up your Snakesys B4 with a MagicQ console, please contact us at support at camsys.co.uk.